Hope you could see my whole screen. So first you have to go to Google and search for liveworksheets.com. liveworksheets.com The first one you can see on the screen is liveworksheets.com you click on here and first yeah i have already created mine so i'm logging out from here and i'm um, teaching you from the scratch so how to register on liveworksheets.com i have got the email id and password of arun sir so with your permission i am uh, creating one new account Totally so for man. that, totally thank, you. thank you. So here you can see register. You are going to click that register. Um, here I'm writing the username as Arun Mohan. You have to give a password. have to repeat the password um special characters are not allowed to enter the email id like a country have to give the full name if you are having a, a facebook twitter instagram or website or blog you can include that uh, you can uh, edit your profile later also so without the date of birth uh, you won't be able to uh, log in so i'm just giving one uh, um, one uh, uh, 22 uh, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 okay you want your okay 22 9 90 right 90 92 okay so if you want you can write more about you that will be displayed in your profile you have to accept the terms and conditions and register Um, so hope uh, there is no confusion in registering. We go. We move on to the next part. That is how to create the interactive worksheet. So on the top, you can see home about this side. Interactive worksheet. Make interactive worksheet. Interactive workbooks and uh, help or teachers assist. The profiles you have profile you have created. One second. I need to log in through Arun Mohan sir's account. Mm -hmm. 
and you have to enter the password. If you want to, uh, if you're using your own system, you can uh, give the option remember me, otherwise just enter. So it needs some time to activate this account. So for that, he may have to uh, check his uh, email ID. So, uh, so I'm uh, here opening my own email ID. Uh, I forgot my password. Uh, usually I remember my mail ID, so just now I have logged out and I forgot my password. Okay, Arun sir, uh, can you check your uh, mail? Yes. And activate uh, that? Ma'am, I guess uh, the uh, spelling of Arun Mohan. Oh, yes, yes. N is not there. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. Anuja, ma'am. Yes. The activation link is in the chat box. Activation link is there. Okay, let me check that. Okay. Thank you, Evan. So I'm entering that again. Now this uh, account is activated and he can start creating new worksheets. So for that, you can uh, get the interactive worksheets from here. You can search for any interactive I mean, worksheets. Uh, for example, if I need a uh, worksheet on preposition, I can uh, search it here, prepositions. You can use the already prepared worksheets. Uh, like as you can see it here. Uh, preposition of place, all those picture-based activities, all these are here. Otherwise, if you want to create your own, you can click on to make interactive worksheets. There is a tutorial and a video tutorial. I have learned uh, from this video tutorial. Uh, if you are having any doubt also, you can refer to this video tutorial. I am uh, uh, starting a new interactive worksheet. For that, I am clicking on to get started. So earlier, they were allowing the Word documents to uh, upload. But now, they are not allowing us to um, upload the Word document. So you have to convert a Word document. Either you have to create a J JPEG, PNG, or PDF file, or you have to create one Word uh, file and convert that to PDF. So for that, I am creating one Word document.
So uh, I'm right clicking, uh, create new Word document. You can give the name, um, fill up, exercise. I have to open that file. You can uh, change for making this uh, worksheet attractive. You can uh, uh, give different colors to that. So page color, I'm giving it uh, yellow color. It should be more attractive for um, smaller grade, uh, primary grade students. I'm inserting, uh, okay, you don't have to insert text box. If you want to give in a box, you have, you can insert text box. So I'm writing here. Hope creating word document is uh, familiar with all of us. Fill up exercise. So you can give this font like uh, century. You can uh, change the size of the um, font. You can include pictures as well. You just have to um, copy paste uh, from the Google. Or if you are having some pictures in the file, you can uh, include those pictures as well. Uh, now the real question that I'm opening another text box. Um, Dash sun sizes and the I should be more specific. So you can fill up this exercise using the proper articles. Using um, A and of the. And the font is very big, so I have to reduce the font size. Okay, here is one question. Sun rises in the east. Second question. Ash, apple, or day keeps the doctor away. Okay, for example, uh, we can have only two questions. And you have to make it more visible. So for that, you have to make it bigger font. So our question is ready. Now we have to convert that into PDF file. So I'm saving this, uh, 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 this um, Word document. So either you can click on here uh, on the left hand topmost corner, or you can just click on Control S, Control and S button together. So I'm closing this file. You can see it here. Now the next task is to convert this uh, fill up exercise to a PDF format. So for that, you have to open another tab. You can search for PDF to Word Converter. So you got, I get a lot of uh, options. So I used to click on to the first one, whichever I see, or uh, you can have this another one. Um, you can select the file here. Okay, this uh, this one option is given by Arun Sir today. So I found it very easy. Uh, this is uh, free pdfconvert.com. You can note it down if you want, or just go to the Google Drive. I mean Google. Chrome, and you can just uh, um, search for PDF to Word Converter. You will get a lot of websites. Now, I am going to convert my file in this best PDF convert.com. So, for that, either you can drop the file, you have to uh, minimize this and drop it from here to there, 
or you can choose the file. Mm, my worksheet is ND drive. Mm, not mm, oh, sorry. as in training. Uh, live worksheet. Fill up exercise. I have selected that. Open. So it's converting. So that's what I have told you. This one is very easy and uh, um, very fast. So we can download this. Um, yeah, you have got it here. Fill up exercise. So this is there in my uh, downloads. So I have to select it from the downloads. Now I am moving back to the liveworksheet.com. I have opened it in another uh, I mean, uh, windows. So here is my live worksheet.com. So I'm going to choose the file. My file is in downloads. I have to get it from downloads. Fill up exercise. Open. You have to. So uh, you can see here, my fill up exercise is here. That's in PDF format. Then only you can upload the file. I'm clicking on to upload. Now you can see the file, fill up exercise. It's visible enough. So what you have to do is you have to select the particular space where the students need to enter the answer. So this is one long space. So you have to select the whole. Because you, if you are selecting uh, a corner of the uh, of the blank, the student may not be um, uh, clicking onto that side. She, uh, he or she may be uh, clicking onto the other side. So the whole space you have to use. So I am creating a box from this end to the other end. You can see. So the correct answer is the T. H E. No, is the correct answer. So I have entered the answer. Next, the second answer is and you have to select the box here and write the answer and and your worksheet is ready now. You can see uh, check the preview of this worksheet. Fill up exercise. So this uh, the worksheet will be appearing for, before the students just like this. There is there will be a watermark live worksheet um, on the end. So how you can fill it here? The student will type like the and and finish writing. She'll click on to finish, and the mark will appear on the top. 10 on 10. I have entered the correct answer. So if the students are entering the correct answer, they'll get the marks like this. So I, I want to publish this. So I'm clicking on to hope my screen is visible to all of you. So here are three, uh, a lot of options. The first one is uh, you have to enter the, um, the PDF file and you have to mark the changes. Next one is the preview. And the third one is the selection. So here, you can see two options. If your um, worksheet is original, the worksheet you have created by yourself, you can publish it. Otherwise, if you are copy pasting or using some other's work, you can't make it public. So you can create a private account, I mean, private uh, a worksheet, and uh, you can save it. So if you are using a uh, free account, you can uh, keep up to 30 private worksheets. So this one is original. You have seen, I have created this on my own. 
So I'm making it public. So I'm clicking onto the first option. So here you have to enter the title. So this one is based on articles, language based on English. You can create uh, a lot of uh, um, other subject worksheets also. Arabic is there, Hindi is there, uh, but Malayalam is not there. I have tried uh, creating one Malayalam worksheet, uh, but you can create the question and everything. But the answers in Malayalam won't be visible. The answers, if you can create a worksheet in Malayalam, but the answers are in English, you can use that. But uh, as for now, Malayalam worksheets, uh, Malayalam fonts are not available in this worksheets, liveworksheets.com. So here it's an English worksheet. I'm selecting English. The school subject is uh, specifically grammar. Grade level, um, grade two. Here are some examples, pre-intermediate or grade three or intermediate. You can write the grade or level. The main content is article itself. OK. Once you type, the option will be there. The other contents, um, there is no other content. So you don't have to write there. You can ignore that box. Um, this one is meant for uh, age group, uh, um, say, four to six. You have to include the description. Otherwise, you can't register this uh, worksheet. So uh, some description should be there. Filling up with articles. So they, these are options. Like uh, if you want, you can. Uh, do you want to share the document as PDF too? You can either click on to yes or no. If you're clicking on to no, nobody can uh, will be able to uh, download this worksheet as a PDF for, file. If you're clicking on to yes, others can also download this worksheet as PDF file. Allow embedding in other websites. Uh, if you are having any other websites or um, any anyone among the public, if they want to embed this uh, this particular worksheet in their, uh, say, Wakelet or Word World, they can use this worksheet in their wor worksheet also, um, in, in their websites also. So I'm allowing that. Um, I'm permitting it and uh, saving this worksheet. So either you can uh, see the open the worksheet and uh, see that, or if you are already having workbooks, you can include in that. Uh, so or you can embed in you this worksheet in your own website or the blog. Now I am closing it. Now, how can you create? I mean, how can you create work workbooks and include these worksheets in the workbook? For that, you can you have to go about the again home about the site interactive worksheet, make interactive worksheets, and the last one, make interactive workbook. Click there. Video tutorial is there. There, if you want uh, to watch it, you will get a link to the YouTube, and you can watch it from there. Uh, now I'm getting it started. So he hasn't created any. Uh, you know that this is a new um, new ID created in Live Worksheets. So he needs to create one new. Uh, one example is given on there. Geography Grade Three. So I have to create um, one workbook named as um, Fun with Grammar. Uh, I have created Make New Workbook. So in this uh, workbook, he can include all his worksheets. So he anytime he can edit the content, assign to students, upload cover, change title, grading options, all these are there. Checking option, allow exercise repetition, uh, show the right answers, everything, she, he can do it here. So I'll be coming on to this one later. Now we have created one workbook. You can, uh, I mean, worksheet, you can include this in the workbook. I'll show you how to do that. I'm creating one another worksheet. 
So the first worksheet was based on a fill-up activity. So the next one I plan to do is to give you a multiple choice question. Choose file. Again, it uh, directs to my uh, PC. So from there, let me go to uh, liveworksheets.com. Activity 2, that's uh, MCQ. So here is one MCQ file. Okay, you can't upload that uh, as it's a document. So what I have to do? Convert. I have to again convert that into PDF. 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 Yes. So start on one. I'm searching in Google for the PDF converter. I uh, got this website and I'm starting from the scratch. It's not working. Yeah, choose file, MCQ, open. Uh, it's not showing like I have chosen a file. It's taking time, so we'll close that. We'll use another website. Uh, so in Google, I have searched for PDF to Word converter. I have got this one. I'm choosing a file. Ma'am, I think this is PDF to Word. Uh, okay. Uh, one second. Word to PDF. You have to select for Word to PDF. Select the file. You can. Oh, it is again. Cancel. Word to PDF. I'm typing Word to PDF. Got a website. I'm clicking on to choose file. MCQ open so it's converting the uh, the website is converting the word document to PDF so meanwhile I think I, I'll go with uh, with another worksheet I have already prepared choose file okay we'll uh, uh, check with matching type of exercise open Upload. So this is one uh, uh, worksheet I have created in Word document and have uh, converted that into PDF file. So you can see the questions on A side and the uh, options on the B side. So this is a book and uh, the matching adjective. The question is, you have to select the suitable adjective for the nouns given. This book, the correct option is uh, story, which is on the end. So what you have to do is that you have to select this whole image. Because the student can touch anywhere on the image. So that you have to select the whole image. And you have to give the comment here. Join J O I N. I'll make it more visible. Join Colin one. So the correct option is down over here. The answer is story. 
So you have to type the same command over here also. J O I N colon one. So the second question is uh, pencil. It's a red pencil. You have to select the image. Give the command join colon two. Here is the option red. Join colon two is the answer. I mean, a red is the answer, so you have to give the same command over here. Now this one that's a little baby. So the question number is three. Join colon three. Is my screen visible? Can you read that? What yes, I'm yes, typing? Yes. Yes, ma'am. So join three. It's a little baby. You are uh, selecting this one. Little. Join colon three. Next one is uh, there are three bags. Join colon four. Uh, three is here. You have to select it. Join colon four. Same command. And of course, this is the answer to the uh, box five. Join. You have to give the colon and answer five. The question is here on the end. You have to select the picture, the whole picture, and write the. Okay. Yes. You have to write the command join column question number five. You don't have to write the question number, you just write five, the numeral five. And this is over. So you can see that uh, that the whole uh, worksheet is ready. These are the simple worksheets I am showing you. You can uh, make it more colorful. You can add more pictures, extra and other pictures and all you can use. No worries. So we can see the preview of that. So this is a question. Uh, what the child has to do is that once he clicked on to the picture, uh, this is a matching type of exercise. One pencil will appear. He has to match it with the correct answer. So, so the answer is on the end. Okay. Rainbow is colorful. Bag, three bags is the correct answer. Pencil is red. And the baby is a small little baby. So I have selected the answers. Um, the student will be giving finish. And uh, he has selected the correct answer. So he'll be getting the score 10 on 10. I'll show you how you can uh, um, you can uh, give this, assign these uh, activities in your Google uh, Classroom. I'll uh, give you an idea of that later. So this is how the students will answer. Now the I'm, I'm satisfied with this. I'm uh, going to publish it. Title. Um, let's see. Okay. It's a matching activity. Language English. School subject you can give. Grammar. Or whichever suits your grade two main content as uh, adjectives. You 
can select here. Other content, uh, there's no other content. Appropriate age is uh, four to say six. Mm, these are so simple activities. Anyone can do that. Description, mm, match the noun with suitable adjectives. Adjectives. Uh, I'm sharing this as a PDF and I, anyone can embed this. Save. Okay. So I hope that. Okay, it's still running. Uh, I won't be able to convert that PDF file, in, it seems. Excuse me, ma'am. There's a query in the chat box. Do we need to save the commands every time? Pardon? The commands that you are giving join, I mean, join, join colon, five, join, colon, one. Ah, yes, yes. You have to save that. Yeah, it will be automatically saved. Once you are writing, uh, typing that command, it will be saved over there. That's automatically done. Oh, yeah, automatically. There's no save button. And this, you and this, this section, the score that is being given is also automatic? Uh, you mean uh, the code we have to share with the class? So when the child attempts the worksheet. Uh, OK, this one you have to. You have to. Uh, for I have written it down. Uh, for the Philip exercise, you just have to uh, select a box and write the answer. For the multiple choice question, you have to um, uh, select the uh, select. Okay, add that I'm uh, coming next. Uh, so matching type of uh, exercise, you can um, you have to write join one for the question as well as for the answer. Join colon one. Example: Join colon one. Join colon two. Likewise, you have to write in the answer as well as in the question. Join colon one uh, for matching type of exercise. When you attempted the worksheet, I mean, you actually showed us how you are joining, and then uh, there was a score on the left hand corner, right? Uh, the score will be there automatically. We don't have to do anything over there. The score will be uh, given automatically by liveworksheets.com. All right, all right, thank you. So next is matching type of question. Discussed. Matching type we have discussed. Next is multiple choice question. OK, uh, so I'm unable to um, download that into PDF. So I'm taking another PDF file. Another ma'am. Yes, uh, uh, ma'am. I think uh, for uh, converting to PDF, you can just give mm -hmm. save all and instead of Word, select it as PDF. It will be converted and saved. I think so. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. If our system is having a program like like Acrobat is there, then only it will be available. Otherwise, in system it won't be available, ma'am. No, oh, ma'am, it's like, like that. She's already I think, having Acrobat, I think. Uh, if you yeah. have Acrobat downloaded, it will be saved. Ajay, ma'am, please check this site. I think this is more better. Oh. OK, so uh, I'll check on to that with another worksheet. Fill up exercise already done. OK, anyway, uh, I'll check on to that. Fill up exercise file. Same as PDF is not available here. So if you are uh, Mahalakshmi here, uh, Najama, uh, there you can export, you can see export. Uh, when you give, um, can you please open that fill up it's that file, Word file? Yes. File? Is it from the file? Yeah, there export, export you can see. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can uh, create uh, create create PDF that you have to do. 
Yes. Um, yes. Oh, thank you. Thanks a lot. That's a new information. Thank you. So uh, all these way while well, I was uh, uh, working on that, and I've got yeah. replace it. Yes. I think I have got one. Yeah, that's good. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Export as PDF. That's a new information for you uh, for me. <laughs> thank you. Uh, so moving on to the um, this. Uh, Multiple choice question. I'll use this file, uh, which I have already converted. So I'm using this one. So I'm coming back to the live worksheets.com. Make interactive worksheet. Get started. Uh, choose file. I'll take this one. Um, I'll give another name because this question is different multiple choice question okay. i'm opening that file oh okay anything open and uploading the file So um, this is another document I have created in Word and converted to PDF. So different with 15, this is a worksheet based on maths, multiplication of maths. Do you know the multiplication of 15? Anyone? So I think there's no one to help me. So I need to refer to the answers. Okay. So for Sabu multiple sir, choice here, question, you should Sabu. have the answer key with you. Uh, otherwise, uh, you'll be in trouble. So I'm creating the multiple choice question here. So for that, as first, I have for the fill up, I have selected the box and just type the answers. But for a multiple choice question, you have to select this one this box and you have to give the command i'll make the screen bigger one i'm zooming it can you see that now yes ma'am so yes, ma so the you are giving some options okay I'm sorry, I have prepared this for uh, um, my, the fill up type of question, so you can't use that. Uh, uh, for the multiple choice, you should have the you should have the answers on the screen. Then only really you can select it. So I can uh, I can make a drop down selection over here. So I am telling you about how you can create drop down selection type of questions. So here you, I have to write the options. So I have to write the options. Choose H O O S E colon. Uh, the first answer is 15. But before that, this is the correct answer. So you have to give an asterisk symbol. The next one is uh, any other wrong answer you can give. After a slash, uh, it can be 14 or uh, it can be another number. Um, say 16. So the correct answer is 15. So I have given the axis symbol before 15. Is that visible to you? Choose, colon, uh, the options. But on the correct option, you have to give the asterisk symbol. Hope it's clear. 
So, 15 to, sir? 30. Thank you. Choose, C -H -O -O -S -E. choose, colon. Um, say I'm giving 45 slash um, asterisk. 30 is the correct answer. 60. So these are the options I have given. Now, 15, 12, sir. One eighty. Are you sure? Yes, okay. yes. So one fifty. Uh, one one eighty. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, the correct answer is one eighty. So before one eighty, I have given the asterisk symbol. Now fifteen eleven, sir. One sixty-five. One sixty-five. Choose uh, asterisk 165. The other options are like 155, 195. Okay, that's over. 1510, sir. That is 150. Thank you. Asterisk 150. Slash one forty slash one sixty. Now fifteen three, sir. Forty five. Forty five. Forty five. Forty five. Colon. Asterisk simple. Uh, one forty five, right? Forty five. Four five. Forty five. Forty five. Forty five. Fifty. 60. So, okay, here you can, uh, uh, if you want to adjust the box, you can adjust the box. Okay, uh, if you want to adjust this box, you can adjust it here. The width, uh, the length, the breadth of the box, you can adjust. Uh, and what is the answer? 135. 135. 135. 135. 1, 3. Okay, 1, 2, 5. 1, give the asterisk. 1, 3, 5. 1, 4, 5. These are the options. Now, 15, 4. 6, 6, 6, 0. 6, 0. Choose. Colin. The 6, 0 is a good Correct answer. I'm giving an extra simple before that. 60, uh, say 50 or 40. Now the moving on to the last part. 15 Pfizer. 75. 75. 75. Choose. Let's 75 slash 65 slash 55. Yeah, six, fifty nine, sir. Ninety. Ninety. Choose, um, Colin. Um, okay, I give seventy slash ninety. Uh, before the before the correct answer, you have to give the <coughs> uh, asterisk. Please don't forget about that. Okay, now. Fifteen eight, sir. One twenty. One twenty. One two zero. Uh, thank you. Uh, one asterisk. One two zero slash one three zero slash one four zero. These are the options. And the fifteen seven. One zero five. One twenty. Asterisk. One zero five, right? Yes. 105, 106, 107. These are the options. 105. And it's over. Ah, 105 is the correct answer. Thank you, sir. Okay. So this one is correct. Uh, we can't um, do any change in the 
uh, in the I mean uh, the words. Uh, if you want to make any changes, it should be there in the Word or PDF document. Uh, in the words, in the font, we can't do anything. Only on the answers we can make the changes. So it's written here like fill in the box. But the students will be able to drop down. I mean, drop choose the correct answer from the box. Uh, I'm showing you the preview. So you can see the uh, there is an arrow mark. There is an arrow mark over here. If you are clicking on to uh, this one, there are options like 15, 14, 16. What is the correct answer? 15 one, sir? 15. <laughs> and if you want to make any changes on the font size or the, uh, the color or anything, okay. here in the choice, uh, you can't do anything, but for the fill up, fill up type of question, you can change the font everything. Okay, so I am saving this. If you are uh, not sure about that, you can check onto the answers and uh, uh, click on to the finish on the end. I have given only two answers, and uh, the first one is correct, and the last one is wrong. So that's why I got one mark. So you can uh, keep it as private, or uh, you can uh, save it as uh, the public multiple. Fifteen multiples of fifteen. Language, English, school subject, maths, grade level 15 would be for the grade level, say 5, uh, main content, multiple, other content is not mandatory, uh, let it be for 10 to 15 years of age, description multiples of 15, save. You can check that and close. Now I am creating a worksheet. Is there any doubt in a drop down box, multiple choice question? I hope there is no doubt. Next one is, uh, I'll see to that. Uh, fill up type is over, matching type is over. Drag and drop, drop type of exercise. So this is my question. Drag and drop, drop type of exercise. I have to upload that. Here, this one again, I have created in Word and converted that to uh, a PDF file. So I want to include that in the worksheet. Make interactive worksheet. Where are we selecting, uh, where are we selecting the types of questions in this, uh, uh, you know, in the site? No, uh, we are not selecting any type of question. Uh, we are giving the command for uh, that. And creating such type of questions. So for uh, the fill up type of question, there is no particular command. In multiple choice question, select yes or no is there. Matching type of question, join one, join two. That is a command we are giving. Drag and drop, you have to, okay, I'll come, I'm coming to that. Uh, can we uh, move on to that? So these are the commands we have to write it down. And you, will, if you are having any doubt, you can uh, check on to the interactive, um, make interactive worksheet video tutorial. It will be directing you to the um, the video where you can see the the commands they are using. 
link here. You can refer to this video anytime. Uh, we are selecting that. OK. Now, how the answer comes, they are writing it here. Uh, this is fill up type of question. That's why no command is there. OK. Excuse me, ma'am. This one is a multiple. Yes. Ma'am, is this fill up yes, type of question case sensitive? Is it case sensitive? I'm sorry. That's what if you give a ma'am, is the fill up case type of question sensitive? If you are using, oh, no, no, no. Uh, you can use either capital letters or small letters. It's not case sensitive. Okay. No, if we are giving the answers in English. If the teacher is giving the answer in caps and if the children are giving that in small letter, will the answer be shown uh, as wrong? Uh, are, I have tried that also. Uh, you can use both. The, it's not case sensitive. Okay, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so next is make interactive worksheet based on drag and drop. Get started. You're choosing the file. You should know where you have uh, the file ready with you. Drag and drop. Open. I'm uploading the file. You can see the file here. So uh, this is an uh, this is noun. Uh, this is a worksheet based on noun. Uh, so you can see the questions set there. Now, what you have to do is that you have to drag the picture to the correct place. So the first one answer is plants. So here should be one box and here should be one box. For drag and drop, this, this is the picture you are going to drag. So you have to select that picture. You have to give the command drag, D-R-A-D, colon, drag one. And this is where you are going to drop it. You have to select that, the whole box. You have to write D-R-O-P, colon, one. Uh, now, is that visible to you? Uh, the command? Drag one, drag colon one, and drop colon one. Can you see that? Okay, I, I suppose yes, it's yes. clear to yours. Yes, ma'am. Now you can see the toy. <clears throat> Thank you. Now you can see the toy cars. Here is one toy car, and here is another one. So both you have to select. <clears throat> this one I'm selecting. Uh, I'm writing drag colon two, and here drag same command because two either options are correct because the child may uh, be thinking of this toy and not the. So you are typing D R O P colon two. I think there is a question in the chat box. Okay. Okay. There's no question. So this is drop two. And next is the storybook. The girl is reading the storybook, so there is only one option. 
I'm selecting that storybook. Writing, typing the command. D R A D colon tree. At the same time, I'm giving the command over here. They have to drop the picture over here. D R O P colon tree. And uh, empty chair, not a uh, not any chair. Uh, the ch child has to place the empty chair. So I'm um, taking this. D R A D colon four. I'm dropping it down here. D R O P colon four. Now there is one rainbow over here. I'm uh, selecting this. Um, D R A D colon five. Um, and uh, the student has to drop it down here. D R O P colon five. Uh, and uh, there is one more activity that is a free answer question. There we can't do any give any marks. So uh, so the uh, student need to write down the answers over here. Uh, and I'm selecting this also. That's a free answer question. You don't have any answer, don't have to give any answers because the student is supposed to write a paragraph about their classroom. So I just, uh, I'm sorry, I just selected this. Uh, I have uh, created one box over here for the for allowing the students to write about their classroom. So this is the space they can use to write about their classroom. And this is over. We can see the preview of the question. So um, plants, they have to drag the picture here. Toy cars, they have to drag the picture here. Storybook, they'll be thinking and uh, selecting. Yes, this is the storybook. Uh, others, you, you can't uh, um, know whether that's a storybook or not. So they have to identify the correct storybook. Now, they, here is only one empty chair. No confusion. There is only one rainbow. They have to select it here. And uh, they have to write the answers. Um, my classroom. And they have to enter more answers and finish it. And here you can select the uh, font size everything. For that you have to select the, um, uh, you have what you have written and you have to right click on your mouse. You'll get the options like, if you are, did you understand? You have to write down the answer first. You are checking the preview, not the question worksheet. Now you are checking the preview. There, you have to type down the answer. Select that answer. I'll make it more clear. Any question? Okay. Uh, yeah. So here, I hope this is visible to you. So I have typed the answer. I'm selecting the answer. I'm clicking on to the right button. And on the end, you can see the options visible. This is text box style. So the font, uh, the default font is Arial. You can change that to um, bubble gum or whatever size can be like uh, 18 font color can uh, any color uh, say pink or this color any color you can choose uh, next background color can be darker because we have selected the font color as uh, Pink. So I have selected gray. 
border color red um this opacity border width rounded corners uh, everything you can uh, change and apply to the the whole worksheet means here i have selected only one one part of that worksheet if you are having the same type of uh, um, fill up type of questions everywhere you can it will be applicable to all if you are not selecting this apply to the whole worksheet it would be apply applicable for only the the selected part so there is nothing more so i am not changing that i am giving the changes on this particular worksheet and you can see my font has been font size uh, color the background uh, the border color the border design everything has been changed now i am okay with this so i am approving this i'm going to publish this publish this worksheet so i have to enter um one title picture composition language english school subject english uh, as a second language grade level 5 uh, main content main content is a uh, mandatory you have to write picture composition other content is uh, optional you don't you can skip that uh, i am giving the age group of 8 to 12 description uh, we have to give something um picture composition composition and Uh, I'm uh, allowing others to take the PDF. I'm saving it. This also you can see it from the from your profile. My worksheets. Next one is uh, how you can include video or audio files in your worksheet. There are a lot of options like fill up type of exercise, multiple choice question, matching type question. drag and drop drop down selection listening exercises speaking exercises uh, you can include youtube videos adding links and the the last one is the free answer type of question i have shown just shown you now i am going to show how you can include um, the video it's uh, 114 so how long i can take the class ma'am ma'am is not there okay so i am uh, moving on with the video how you can include youtube videos in your worksheet so for that again i have selected one uh, uh, one youtube video worksheet and uh, i'm going to select that choose file um Here is one. Okay, video lesson of the proud rose. Let me see how we can convert that. You are muted, ma'am. अनुजा यम्यूट अनुजा म्यूट मैम योर माइक की स्वीट और मैम आह सो दिस दिस वर्कशीट इज रेडी Uh, I'm going to upload it. Choose a file. Um, video lesson on the proud rose. Open. Upload. Okay. 
So you can see that I have kept this blank. Why? Because I have to include this, uh, the video in this blank space. So then I need to copy paste that, uh, that video, uh, video lesson. That link from you, YouTube, this is a video link. Do you know how to uh, get the video link from YouTube? Okay, for that, um, this is the name of the story is The Proud Rose. I'm checking in YouTube. YouTube video. YouTube video. Okay, I'm going to that website. Uh, sorry. Okay, The Proud Rose. This is the story I have selected. So you can get the link of the story. You can get this link of the story either from copy copying here or you can get it from somewhere here. Where is it? Uh, where is that? You can get the link. I used to get it directly from the, uh, the share. 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 Where is it? Down share. below, ma'am. Share. Oh, yes, yes. From here also you can copy the uh, YouTube link. Copy. You can uh, paste it here. Okay, before that you have to select the box where your video should be displayed. Okay, I'm just pasting. Uh, you can either click on to control plus B button or Click on to the right button and I have okay. There's paste. There is no option like paste here. Okay, you can click on to control B. Control B is paste. Control button plus B button together. I didn't copy that. Copy. You have seen me copied. Then what happened now? Control V. Ah, yes. Control V, or let me see it now whether you can paste that uh, using. You have to click on to the right button and paste option key. Control V. You can see it here. Cut Control X, Control C, Control V. You have to just click on to Control V or paste the option here. You, uh, this is a bigger video so you have to change select the size of the um, the box this has been selected i'm selecting the box to, i think okay you can uh, make the changes later also and some questions were given over here so you can select that space it's a fill up type of question so the students can write their own answers or if you want to give options you have to give the option over there just I'm giving uh, it as a fill up type of question I'm selecting the space for the students to write the answer now this is automatically saved let me check the preview the video is already here i have selected a, um, uh, the half of the portion that's why you can see only up to there the video is visible i'll make it a bigger uh, I'll select a, um, the white space. So anytime you can change after, even after publishing also, you can make the edition. Okay, I have selected the whole page. And now the video is on the whole page. You can see that. 
and I'm satisfied with this. I'm publishing it. So all this time we were publishing the uh, we are, we are publishing it for the public. Now I'm keeping it for the private. Uh, listen to the story. Now we have created uh, audio, I mean, video files, fill up type of question, um, multiple choice question, everything. Now, how can you use this in the classroom? So for that, you can select the worksheet. You have to click on to the worksheet. I'm selecting this one. Either you can give this link if you are using a, a online class, if you are using a Google Meet or something, you can copy paste it there. Or you can share that to the Google Classroom. Add to Google Classroom. Here is the option. You can see. Click there. It will directly go to your Google account. I'm you, uh, this, uh, my personal account is open here. So I'm uh, changing that to my official account. Now, this is my official account. I'm selecting the class. Um, so, 7, 7A. I'm selecting this for 7A students. Choose action. Uh, you can create assignment, ask question, make announcement, create material. I have created the assignment. So, I have selected that. Go. Now, if you want to give that to a multiple uh, number of classes, you can select 7A. Um, and uh, 7B, give the title uh, matching activity. activity. This is optional. We can give the points, due dates, everything, and uh, assign to the students directly. You can share it through WhatsApp to your students, or uh, uh, you can uh, add your account to the school account. The school can also create an account here. And uh, now I will uh, tell you how your student can log in. Now, Arun has not created any student. Uh, Arun is not having any students. So he has to. Invite some students. So for that, my students. Either he can link to a school which is already uh, in here, or uh, he has to ask the school management to create an account in live worksheet so that he can link to the school directly. There is another option like add group. Group name, uh, say, English group. Add group. We can invite the students there. Add students. Full name. Um, Sultana. Username. If they are ha already having a username, they can use that. Or uh, she herself can uh, give the username for the students. Password. Let it be a common password so that all the students can use the same. Likewise, uh, the teacher can include more number of students. Uh, more number of students uh, can be added. So there is only one workbook for me. So I can assign only that workbook. So this is all. And the students will uh, add students. What is it? Add students. So you can see that the mail has already gone to Sultana. Mm. So uh, okay. So if the student need to uh, attend that, she has to have the password. So that uh, the password is one two three four five six seven eight. She can use the same password. 
Uh, so there is more options like you can include the speaking exercise, you can include the listening exercise, and you can include the links from other websites. Uh, all these are very clearly mentioned here in the interactive make interactive video. Or uh, can I explain that in the class now? Or uh, will you see that directly from this uh, uh, from this website? Any man? The teachers kindly respond. It's up to you. Teachers, please respond. Hello, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we will explore ourselves. Okay. Okay. So, is there any doubt regarding uh, um, the things we have been, I mean, discussed now as far? Again and again practice method. Yes, we have to do thorough practice. And I have prepared in detail regarding all these workshops. And I have created this PPT. You can see it here uh, how to create the account, how to um, get onto those accounts, how uh, how each and uh, what are the commands you have to give on each account. So if you want, I can share that with you. How the, it's self-explanatory. The video, the live worksheet themselves have uh, provided is self-explanatory. If you want, I can share this. Uh, this PPT. It's better you share. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Kindly share the video. Yes, ma'am. So it's detailed explanation. You may feel bored. Uh, so kindly go through that. Yeah. Uh, you can. Uh, Ask me questions. Excuse me, ma'am. May I? Yes, yes, please. Uh, ma'am, is there an option to assign scores for each question? Because uh, whenever you're presenting each worksheet, it was showing us out of 10. So if we want to just give five questions and one mark for each question, is there an option to assign marks for each question? There is no option to assign marks. That's a drawback I have seen. Uh, that's one drawback, and the other drawback is that there is option for Hindi and Arabic, but uh, Malayalam teachers can't uh, create a. Uh, of course, they can create a Malayalam worksheet, but they can't expect an answer in Malayalam because the font Malayalam is not available. Okay, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have created one Malayalam worksheet. But the questions are there, but you can't use that. Uh, the answers I have written was not visible when I sent the worksheet. So Malayalam won't work. You can see the question here. But they can prepare, no, no, yeah. The students can't respond, but the teachers can prepare, right? Teachers can prepare, yes. yes. Uh, if the teacher needs an answer in English, the students can answer in English. Uh, so this is one story uh, story I have prepared, story writing. But uh, I have written down the answer in Malayalam using Google Translate, but the answers were not visible when they submit the answer. So you can't use Malayalam. But for Hindi and the, uh, Arabic, I don't know. Hindi, you can see. Uh, any other any other doubts? Or can we wind up? Thank you, Mahalakshmi. My teachers, can anyone give a review of the class? It was really in uh, interesting and uh, useful tool, Anuja. Really. Anuja ma'am, thank you so much. It was such a wonderful. We have only seen, you know, live worksheets, you know, that we download and sharing it from other sites. But this is for the very first time that we are making one for ourselves. That is uh, something, you know, a miraculous change, I say. We have, I think nobody has ever made their own live worksheet. 
we have only downloaded from and we have shared from sites right ma'am so far so this is what even i have got a chance to a chance to create one and i came to know that there is a, an option like we can create one on our own Yes, on our own. Based on our own. Yeah, like, like just the contents that we need. We don't have to include anything that we don't need. Anuja, ma'am, you said everything, but you forgot to share my password that you have made for me. <laughs> that I'll tell you <laughs> after the class. <laughs> and thank you, Anuja. Uh, thank you so much. It is really, as Arun sir said, it is really helpful for all the classes. Even though Malayalam, the students cannot respond, the teachers can respond. Asina, madam, you can try whether uh, Arabic is possible or yes, not. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I will try, ma'am. Oh. It's very interesting. Yes. You very want to study a lot of things are there, ma'am. A lot of things are there from this uh, section. <laughs> I will try, ma'am. Inshallah. Okay, okay Asina, ma'am. So once again, Anuja, we all have Anuja's number. So if there is any doubt, either we will check the interactive video or we will be calling you. Okay, kindly share the video. Okay, then thank you all. We have one more session today at two, right? So we okay, we will uh, join by two then. Thank you. Uh, yes, sir. You said you would like to share something with the teachers. I have uh, yes, with the class teachers. Yes, ma'am. After two o'clock session, we will sit, sir. I know they okay. have they didn't have their lunch yes, also. Yes, we will have sit after. Okay. Thank you, sir. How much sharing the PPT email, Anuja? Pardon, ma'am. I'll share it with VP, and VP can share it with you. The 